Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com. Today is January 30th. It is currently 5.47 p.m. Chicago time. It's Saturday, it's the weekend, no trading going on. And I just happened to be doing a little bit of work here for the membership and thought I'd go ahead and take a look at this S&P market and give you a little report what I see going on. Very interesting stuff here. It looks like trouble is ahead for the S&P market. Now, of course, that is speaking a little on the tail end because trouble pretty much started after it topped around May of 2015, which is where I'm pointing to right now. After the market did a minor decline, it rallied back up until July of 2015 where it made a double top. This double top then was followed by a drastic drop that brought prices back down to levels that hasn't been seen since last October of 2014. But then the market recovered again. It went up to September of 2015. Pulled back, made a higher high here on the week of October 2nd, 2015. And from there was able to launch up to make another attempt at the highs. And again, it failed. Pretty much looks like a triple top, although this one didn't quite make it as high as the other two. It is a failure, and of course, the payment for failure is, ouch. It came back down to week ending January 22nd, which was a little over a week ago. And last week, it staged its rally. Now, this was not unexpected, and so I'm going to show you that. For example, here, I'm creeping into the screen here, is a portion of an indicator uh, window that I have for my FDATE software. And currently, it's calculated for the weekly time frame. And if you'll notice here, this is dealing with the historical cycles and the recent cycles. Five cycle threads are shown here. And then this one goes back to a number of threads depending on how many years of data was thrown at this and I think I probably got 30 years or so of data thrown at this and you can see here that we were looking at week of 122 as a cycle turn which with prices moving down would be a cycle bottom and that's what happened there's week 122 which made the cycle bottom. It had the highest scoring points right here. But it did hint, okay, possibility that it could have been one week early when you can see these three bars here. And the weekly F date itself was calculated for the 115. So it was one week off as far as the little red diamond you see here, but still within that plus or minus one that we work with. But if you'll notice that from 122, it now jumps over to week ending 212. Well, this upcoming week is week ending 25, which here we have this red diamond. So again, it could be one early on the red diamond. If it's on time, it would be, for example, this week ending 212. But what does that tell us? Well, if this is a bottom and prices are moving up, then we should be looking for topping around this time period right here. That means that, you know, whether it be in the next few days, which is next week, or move into the following week, which is 212, we should be looking for topping. And then I also wrote it down here to remind me, since I don't always have this application open. That means that we should then see prices pull back again. It's much like what you see here, where prices rise up for two, three weeks and then pull back down. We should see the same kind of pattern pretty much if this is to happen as we see right here. We've got the bottom for 122. Let's say we get a top for around 212. Prices decline. It declines for you know one to three weeks. We're looking right here, week ending 226. For, so that would be, what, the end of February that it would decline following a 212 week of 212. That's not a day. That's a week of 212 pulling back and then making a bottom around week ending, you know, the, the last part of February and then rallying again 
to around middle of March, 311, 318 time period. We see clustering here going on. It has 311 highlighted. Uh, other indicators also show uh, 318 as a high potential. So we could be looking at this kind of a pattern, down, up, down, then up, and then that would be topping, and we could then be declining into April. So it looks like our target for this up move right here, uh, not counting that we're going to have a correction where we're going to pull back from here to here. We're going to resume back up to here. The overall topping of this run is expected to be around mid-March. So expect this bottom be met with a rally up to around mid-March and then we'll decline likely back into April. And that's it for this video and this forecast. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe so you can always be informed of my next video when they come out. And thanks again for watching, and I appreciate it. Bye now.